You're never more than 10 minutes away from your local weather on Action News Now. And Patrick Wright is here with a look ahead at your Thursday. Patrick. Yeah, good morning, Kayla. We have some showers to start the day, some uh, in small pockets of the valley, so it's not widespread. Looking outside at the radar right now, here's what we have. Just some showers over parts of Tehama and Butte counties. That is it. it. We have seen that the rest of the showers either break up and move on, and this is just the last bit hanging on to start your day. So here's what we have across our area right now. Just some light rain moving into the Tehama Butte County line. That is going to move into the foothills rather soon. Temperatures today topping off in the upper 50s to around 60 degrees throughout the valley. So it is going to be below average, but we will see some sun breaks here and there, especially by mid morning. So 1030, we are looking at some sun breaks popping in, but some chances for scattered showers and thunderstorms in the early afternoon to early evening will be possible. Some small hail. Heavy rain and gusty winds are can be associated with these storms. So when thunder roars, head indoors. That moves out pretty quickly late tonight into tomorrow morning. We are clear to start the day on Friday. So 8 a.m. Friday, the stars are shining in the morning and the sun will be shining by the mid morning. Clouds may move in here and there, but it's a weak system just giving some snow showers to the mountain areas. And this sets the stage and the pattern heading into the weekend. We do have a winter weather advisory in effect for the mountains for the Sierra that'll last through 5 a.m. on Friday. This is for some of the snow that'll be moving in tonight and into early tomorrow morning. But we do also have a frost advisory that will begin 4 a.m. on Friday. We notice the clearing sky coming up on that day that allows some of the heat to escape and our temperatures to drop at or below freezing in some places. So we have that risk for frost coming up and that'll head or last throughout the weekend in the next seven days. Just some chances for some thunderstorms today into this evening, but that is about it. We dry out for the weekend in the valley, upper 50s for highs. Same thing for Reading, mid to upper 50s for highs. Dry in the valley this weekend, but rain does return coming up next week. I'll be timing that out in just a few minutes.